Hey guys, what's cooking? How you guys doing? All good? Check out the plants I have here, the fava bean plants. They're growing real well. Ah, the weather is changing already. You can hear, you can, you can feel, you can smell the smell of spring. The spring is coming. Check out this nice weather. Really sunny. The weather is changing again and the fava bean plants have been growing really good. They're getting really uh, really big now and uh, have a lot of uh, bean pods on them. So check it out. Look at them, really beautiful. Really beautiful plants. These ones here don't have fava bean pods yet. But they'll soon start growing. You can see the here uh, these ones don't have the, the watering system on them So these ones here are a bit smaller All right, so these ones here are a little bit bigger because they have the watering system on them They've grown a little bit more, but all of them are being watered by the rain because it's a very good weather now It's very sunny and the spring is coming, but it also has been raining a lot. So they they actually have been watered by the rain too, not only by the watering system, but also from the rain. So they have been growing really well. And these ones over here, they already have uh, they already have bean seeds, uh, bean pods on them. As you can see, look at that, really big bean pods. They grow really fast. Like from one day to the other, they grow. Like they just start sprouting like this on the on the bean plant on the on the fava bean plant. They just sprout out like that. Look at this one here. It's really fast. Almost like from one day to the other, they sprout like this. Sometimes I wish I had a, a camera mounted here, one of those time-lapse cameras that you can place in certain places and then leave it there recording and then fast forward the video so that you can see all the time that he's recorded in a, in a small amount of time, all right? So I wish I had one of those here mounted and filming this stuff filming this stuff here the the fava bean pods growing because they grow so fast that you can you came here from one day to the other and you you did you, di you don't even see them growing just like you, one day they're not here and the other like the other day or the other two days after they are already grown like that all right so they're really big the fava bean plants they well uh i thought they would they would have to hang on to these sticks here that's why i place these sticks uh, but apparently they don't they don't need the sticks that much they can grow even even uh when when they're not hold on to the sticks all right they can grow to the sides and they can grow like that but see there really big really big cover bean plants all right I wish I had that camera mounted here. I wish I had the camera mounted so you guys could see them grow really fast. Right? Because they, they really grow really fast. What? Oh shit. I have a bug here on my on my hoodie. Shit. Gotta clean my hoodie. It's full of bugs, full of some cockroaches here on my hoodie. Alright, so but I wish I had that camera, the time lapse camera here. Maybe maybe sometime when I have a bit more money, when I make a bit more money with the stream, maybe I will I will place a time a time lapse camera here. I'll connect it to the to the electricity there on the on the tank, all right, on the pump, and uh, I'll have it here filming the the progress of the the vegetables, all right, because it's it's really cool videos to put online, all right, when uh, when the the vegetables grow really fast, all right, so here. Uh, also, well, you see the sticks are here because, well, I tried to make them hold on to the sticks and I even went to my, I have a, a person in my family, an uncle, uh, that has a store where he sells like uh, tools, like construction tools and gardening tools and uh, all kind of tools, like little tools, little stuff that people use every day at the home, at the house or fixing stuff at the house or uh, not, not very big stuff, but little tools you know and I went there I wanted to buy a piece of wire like one of those rolls of wire I wanted to to strip to to place to to connect these 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 uh, sticks that I've been putting here I, I wanted to make like put them in rows and then uh, connect them with wire make so so the plants could oh look at that there's a, a bee there big bee like a bumblebee there on the uh, taking pollen from eating pollen out from the 
the papa bean flowers, the plant flowers. He's collecting nectar, pollen, pollinizing the flowers. All right. So yeah, but as I was saying, I was trying. I wanted to place the 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 sticks here with some wire on them so that the plants could hang on to them and grow better. But I thought they would need that. But I talked to my to my to this uncle of mine, and he he, he has more experience in this. He's like. Uh, He's done a lot of plantations before on his garden and stuff, and he had, had a lot of stuff. He even had, he had fava beans, he had peas and stuff like that. Uh, lots of stuff, peppers, green peppers, and uh, they even had some some uh, one of the, some bamboo, some bamboo like those bamboo sticks from from China. They had some some of those bamboo sticks there on the garden growing once. Back in the day when I when I when I smoke weed and when I when I was into that stuff, uh, I. I I used to go there to get some some of those bamboo some of those bamboo sticks to make uh, to make uh, to make pipes to make pipes to smoke all right to smoke weed and to make to make flutes and to make those those things that you that uh, those those um, air instruments all right that make really big noise you can make those with, with bamboo sticks so uh, he had a lot of stuff there in the garden and he told me oh the fava bean plants so the fava bean plants you don't need to you don't need to uh, you don't they don't need to be hold on to anything they if they don't grow up they just grow to the side all right so they can you can leave them right there like that without the wire or without the sticks because they they'll grow anyway I'm like okay okay maybe then I won't buy the the the, the wire roll like uh, a 10 meter or something wire roll was like five euros so it's the money I can spare all right so I said okay so I'll try it like this then later if I decide to buy the wire I'll come back and buy a roll of wire right but I didn't buy it so I just left the plants here like this all right so they are still growing like this without the wire see there those those over there hold on to the sticks but so mothers grow to the side like this one here you see it's grown to the side and has a lot of pods on on, on it all right this here too grow to the side too those these over here also grow to the side so that they i guess they like just they just flourish to the sides they don't necessarily need to be holding on to the stick like this one here all right some of them are still holding on to the sticks that I put there, but they don't really need, they, they grow anyway, see here, one didn't hold on to the stick, but it's growing to the sides, alright? Okay, so these here, these are the older ones, these are the ones that I planted here. Uh, no, not that I planted, these ones, most of them were already seeded on the ground, this, this, there were seeds there on the ground from last years, alright? I just placed some of them over there, some on the ground and some over there on the middle, alright? But most of them over there were already seeded from other years. The seeds were already in the ground. I just cleared the weed a little bit there and started watering and stuff. So and they grew, as you can see, they grew really big. All right, these ones over here are the ones that are seeded. They are a bit younger and they've been fertilized a lot. Those ones over there even have now the watering system. This year, these ones over here don't have yet because uh, I didn't buy the tube, the rest of the tube to put here, the rest of the tube that I needed. All right. I didn't have time to go to the store yet, it's a bit far away, all right, but they're growing really well, even these ones are a little bit smaller, but I think they, they will still grow fava bean pods anyway, because they, there's a lot of uh, rain falling down too, lately, all right, and here the, there's another place with the ones that are planted, these here are all watered, see here the watering system, the, the hoses are, are watering all of them, made for rows with, with tube, okay. They have a lot, but these have a lot of weeds. I should have come here to clean the weeds, but I didn't have time for this. They still have a lot of a lot of weeds there, sucking the water from them. All right, should have cleared that, but they're still growing really well anyway. As you can see, they are really big too. These ones over here really big. They don't have fava bean pods in them because they are younger than the other ones. They're a bit younger, so they're gonna take a little bit more. But I think soon they will start. They will start sprouting fava beans too, fava bean pods, all right. So, yeah. yeah. And that's it, that's a little nice a plantation of fava beans, all right. Fava beans is a really, is a really, uh, fava bean is a really good uh, food. Uh, it's a very complete food. Like, for instance, say, if you are, live, if you were living in a place where you don't, you didn't have meat or fish, <coughs> Or, or if you are a vegetarian, you don't really eat that, uh, and you needed to to subsist, all right? And you just had fava beans. You could 
you didn't need to eat anything else because fava beans is a very complete food. It has protein, it has carbohydrates, it has vitamins, it has minerals, it has everything that your body needs. Just doesn't have vitamin B12. Vitamin B12 is a vitamin that is produced by bacteria that uh, are only found in a, in a animal uh, in animal products. All right, uh, but uh, be them meat or dairy or something like that or fish. Okay. <laughs> There's, a, there's also vitamin B12 that comes from vegetable sources, but uh, normally it's very scarce because uh, there's not uh, the, the vegetable products that some, the, the few vegetable products that contain B12 normally contain it in very small amounts, in, uh, uh, which you would have to consume very high quantities to get your uh, daily, the daily recommended value of the daily recommended dosage of B12 vitamin, All right? Say for instance, if you were to eat one of those fermented foods, so soy fermented foods that have vitamin B12, they have, they have a little bit of vitamin B12 because in the fermentation process, there are, there are also some bacteria that get uh, that develop there in the fermentation and they, they produce a bit of B12, but in, it's in very small amounts. For instance, if you were to eat one of those fermented soy foods like miso or uh, kombucha or something like that, you would need to eat a lot of that before you get your before you would get your daily intake of vitamin B12, you need to eat like five kilos of that or so, or so because uh, it contains very little, very, very, very little amount of B12, all right? Less than a microgram, like 0.01 micrograms or something like that, all right? So in order to consume your daily three micrograms, you would, you would need to eat a lot of that because those products contain a very small amount per each 100 grams, all right? So, uh, but yeah, fava beans is a very complete uh, food. It doesn't have B12 either. Maybe you would need you need still to get your B12 from somewhere else. With I don't know, maybe eat uh, some food, some I don't know, maybe a, a dairy, maybe eat dairy, maybe an animal product. Try to get, or maybe if you could eat like I don't know, if you're in the wild, if you could get catch some eggs from some from some chickens or some uh, some uh, birds or something like that all right you'd have to to get your your b12 uh your b12 uh, vitamin like that all right in order to not get brain damage or not become anemic you would have to get it like that but for subsistence if say for instance if you are in a place if you are surviving and you just had fava beans you could eat them and then when you are in a place where you could find some b12 animal animal product or not uh, you could uh, you could uh, you could eat that later, all right? Because your organism already uh, also stores the vitamin B12 for a long time, and if you do, are not able to eat it uh, for a bit, uh, you can eat it later, and it's no problem. And you can uh, actually you can eat it from vegetable sources. You don't need to, to eat it from animal sources as long as you eat enough, all right? As long as you have enough available, be it in in uh, uh, in a, a bit like uh, those food. Uh, supplements like uh, starch like beer yeast if you have beer yeast powder uh, you can you can eat that or like the capsule the capsules the, the, the b12 uh, capsules you can eat those too they come they have b12 that comes from vegetable sources all right so you can eat that if you don't want to eat dairy or if you don't want to eat animal products you can always substitute your b12 income with that all right so and here oh look there's my neighbor over there we é pá, tenho que fazer uns vídeos para pôr na internet aqui. Depois eu tenho que vir aqui, tenho que vir aqui abrir aqui mais uns rengos, fazer aí umas alfaces e coisas. Agora estou só aqui a filmar para pôr isto na internet das favas. Já tenho aqui uma data de coisas, já tenho aqui data de uma data de favas. É pá, isso aí está muito bonito pá, isso está à maneira. Tive isso bem arranjado. Estava a pensar por aqui também uns cordéis aqui, para fazer aqui umas fileiras com os paus, por uns cordéis, mas eu falei lá com o Fernando lá da loja, fui lá para comprar o cordel, mas ele disse que não era preciso, que elas cresciam para o lado, então eu deixei assim, pronto. Diz que às favas não era preciso. É. Pois, ali também não tem cordel, não é? Está só com os paus, segurado os paus, pois. É. Tá, olha, deixa lá acabar de fazer aqui o vídeo, até logo. Okay, so talking there to my neighbor, he's the, my neighbor is from my family, he's, uh, he's a cousin of my mother and my, my, uh, my uncle, my other uncle, alright? So here, you see here, these places are empty, but maybe, uh, now I had here the, 
I had here the uh, the the radishes. I had here on these places. Now they are empty, but maybe here I will. Maybe here I will later. I'll clear this again and I, I'll open. I'll dig them again and plant here. Maybe some more lettuces because lettuces are very easy to to seed to plant. Uh, so. Maybe I'll do that, maybe make uh, like 20, 30 lettuces in one of these places, in each one of those, right? Just like I had over there. And I'll have to clear that too, but uh, right now I'm very busy. I don't know if you know this, but I'm very busy with the stream online, on Twitch, playing games and there, uh, trying to grow the stream, all right? So I'm very busy with that. Don't have too much time to come here to, to work here, but as soon as I have a bit more time, maybe next week, starting next week, something like that, then I will come here and start working on this again and make some more some more uh plant some more stuff over here maybe some lettuces uh also other stuff maybe over there i had the turnips there maybe i'm not going to see turnips again there because it's good for rotating the 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 crops you don't want to make the same crops on the same place all the time because the soil erodes all right it's good that you always plant different stuff if you have the same stuff all the time the soil erodes because the it's the, the, the crops always consume the same type of minerals and, and, and uh, uh, well, they always consume the same, stuff, the same type of stuff from the soil and it gets eroded, right? So you gotta rotate. So there, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Maybe if I, if I go there and clear that, that place over there, maybe I'll, I'll try to make the carrots there, dig, dig it really deep and then seed the carrots there and see if they grow, all right? So in here on this side, Maybe I'll place some lettuces or some other easiest, easier stuff because the lettuces are really easy. So I'll just make them uh, probably and here on this place too. For now, I think maybe I'll stick to this area here. Just make, I had some lettuces here, but the, the weeds grow really fast and they didn't let the lettuces grow, right? So also had the strawberries there, they didn't grow either because of the weeds. I didn't have time to clear the weeds. So, but I will, if I have more time, I will make some easy stuff here. On this side, all right, I'll just clear this up. And uh, I'll, I'll also, when I can buy a bit more tube, then I, I put the tube here too, to water this stuff that I, I make over here, all right? And see, I want to show you here the watering system. The watering system is always, is also working every day. All right. Maybe I want to make here also uh, so a fertilizer that my neighbor taught me how to do. He told me about this organic fertilizer that you can make with uh, uh, with those uh, some 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 uh, some types of weeds. I don't know the name in English, but in, in Portuguese it's urtigas. So this it's this kind of this kind of weeds that grow wild. This like this, all right? See there, these weeds here, urtigas. This in Portuguese is urtigas. I don't know the name in English, all right? This is very good to make to make fertilizer. He, he told me about the fertilizer that people make with this. Just have to collect a lot of them, pick them up like that, and then place them in a container with and fill it up with what with water, with some liters of water. Container like this. Alright, like this container here. You place a lot of those weeds here in the container, fill it up with water and cover it and let it there fermenting. Alright. And then after it's fermented, it will ferment and it will have all the minerals, the plant minerals there, the vitamins and stuff, the nutrients. And then you can use that water, that rich water, you can use it to water your stuff, your plants, and they grow really well. It, it, uh, it's a natural organic uh, fertilizer, and then you can use that to water the plants and make them grow well, right? feed them well. All right. So here the tank. The tank was had a, a lot of water and it was a bit dry, uh, a bit uh, dirty, because it, it was not changed too often. I didn't use to open the, the tap very often but now that i have the watering system there connected to the tap now the water is coming out from below and it's getting clearer it's getting cleaner all right the water is more a bit more clean now because all the all the the vegetable waste the the waste on the on the on the bottom of the tank on the bottom of the water is coming out all right so the water is a, a bit more cleaner now there too this year is working i set it to 6 p.m 7 p.m more or less seven uh, six and a half p.m. All right, so it's watering every day at that time for 60 minutes. All right, 60 minutes it up during 60 minutes it opens at that time. All right, see there, there's the, the light flashing. All right, I didn't, I didn't, I was supposed to build a housing feature for this year for it not be exposed, for it to not be exposed here to the to the sun and to the 
to the to the rain but i didn't have time for that either so i'm really busy uh, with the computer and with the stream so, trying to get that that working all right so but yeah as soon as I, let, I have a little bit more time i'll continue here the farming and i'll see some more stuff over here and uh yeah i'm gonna be doing some i'm gonna be doing also also i have some new hardware at the house i have a new mouse and a new mouse pad i'm gonna be doing unboxing videos of that soon so if you're into that stuff gaming stuff gaming hardware stay tuned for that all right and uh, i have uh I'm also streaming every day on my Twitch channel. I'm also streaming games there. I'm streaming uh, Diablo 3, Elite Dangerous. There's a $100,000 tournament coming up. The, the qualifiers are going to start soon. Uh, they're starting, uh, I think, by the end of this month. They're going to start the qualifying. It will. There will be qualifying hits for, for for three or four months before the tournament starts in the in the summer. All right. So, uh, also, I'm playing other game like GTA Online and uh first assault ghost in the shell first assault all right so if you like that stuff if you like games and if you uh, uh like watching other people play games well don't forget to tune into my channel and drop me a follow I start stalking the channel and uh help me get the partnership with the site so i can have my videos with better quality because they don't offer uh they don't offer top quality uh top quality transcoding and storage for uh, users that are not partnered we decide to get the partnership you need to have uh, you need to have a lot of people following your channel stalking your channel and uh, then you, you need to have uh, a certain amount of viewers all the time all right if you have like 100 or 200 viewers I think they will offer you the partnership or you can apply and then it will be your uh, application will be accepted all right so I need that to to grow the channel and to have the partnership and to have better quality videos so if you guys would like to help me out uh you can you know what you have to do just go to the channel and stalk start stalking the channel and watch it all right just say hi and and hang out and stuff you don't really need to donate you just need to to watch the channel and to have fun uh so request songs and chat and stuff like that all right so also if you enjoy my videos my my um these videos that i make here my farming videos uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and comment below like comment subscribe uh, make some suggestions if you'd like me to 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 see or to plan some specific stuff all right and uh yeah as soon as i have some more time to come here i'll be back and uh, i'll uh, i'll uh, see some more stuff for you over here and uh, i'll make some more videos of it all right so i hope you guys enjoy the video i hope you have a good weekend and i'll see you next time all right take it easy